documentary on teenage prostitution in Nigeria. The English Wikipedia defines teenager as a young person whose age falls within the range from 13 to 19. Teenage prostitution is a process whereby teenagers within the age of 13 to 19 years engage in sexual activity in order to gain money or other valuable items from the opposite sex. Teenage prostitution is an act where little children, girls and boys, engaged into self-selling, using themselves as a sex machine to get money and earn other things. Teenage prostitution involves teenagers between the age of 8 to 16 years involved in sexual immorality or sexual act whereby the person involved look for look for partner that he will use to get or make money prostitution is the act of involving oneself in any sexual activity to get a compensation now narrowing it down to the teenagers we now target as um, teenage prostitution teenage prostitution is when a young girl engages herself in sexual intercourse in in the in form of making money or earning a living Teenage prostitution is prostitution involving a young person within the age of 13 and 19 engaging himself or herself in sexual activity for money or anything of value. It is caused by a variety of factors. Some are perpetrated by the prostitutes themselves, while other factors are external to the prostitutes. Sometimes they kind of they convince them without letting them know the dangers involved in it. A lot of family cannot make ends meet. In fact, some parents give out their children to go to serve somebody in the in the, in the township only for them to witness that um, at some point these so-called girls are being used for prostitution. People use them to make money for themselves and the parents don't, don't even know about this. One of the causes is not having the fear of God. The Bible says train up a child in a way that it should live. That when he grow up he will not depart from it. When a man did not have the fear of God in his life, anything can come, anything can go. I can see that is the major thing that have killed the youth of this age. In a country whereby we have lots of graduates, lots of lots of graduates here, yeah, and there are no jobs for them to do. Surely most of these teenagers think that selling their body is the only way to make ends meet for the family. Some of them engage, they engage in this prostitution just to make sure that they provide for themselves and their families. Even though prostitution is not the best job to do, but they can't help but do it because they think that is the only way they can take care of their needs and that of their families. from the family background, Maybe the parents had a very young of It's poverty. You find us in a family that some of uh, the parents cannot meet the ends needs of the family. A young, uh, for example, a young lady who is in her institution, they find it very difficult to pay her school fees. So, due to frustration and other things, we find that the, the, the lady herself will engage in prostitution. Causes of teenage prostitution in Nigeria. Poverty, unemployment, poor education, peer pressure, lack of parental care, homelessness, general psychological and emotional problem, housing instability, 
educational and vocational failure, problems at home, lack of the necessary street sense to survive alone as a result of broken homes contributes to their needs to engage in survival sex or the exchange of sex for food, money, shelter, drugs or protection that defines many of these young people's life. Prostitution is one of the oldest profession. It is as old as civilization and has been an old problem. Hundreds of thousands of things have been lured into prostitution. The dangers associated with prostitution are both immediate and long term. Most immediate is the physical, mental, and emotional violence those children experience at the ends of pimps, madams, and customers. Long term dangers include health problems, drug addictions, adverse psychological effects and even deaths. The most tangible consequence for children involved in prostitution is the extremely high probability of suffering violence, violence as a small family as child, victim of prostitution, danger for street life and things. Haga <laughs> I never Prostituted children are often afraid to report these crimes to the law enforcement because they are embarrassed and fearful that the charges will not be taken seriously or they may be arrested themselves. The long-term psychological effects to children prostituting Children who experience inappropriate sexual activity of a violent or non-violent nature are psychologically impacted by a combination of the trauma of the assault itself, coupled with the distorted information exploiters use to justify their sexual behavior. Way forward, solutions to curbing teenage prostitution in Nigeria. Nobody can say for sure what is pushing teenage girls to prostitution. Most have blamed it largely on economic and social factor. And also, they should try to equip them, equip themselves. Maybe in engage in skills like, for instance, all those creative uh, some uh, arts like, let's say, for instance, um, hairdressing or tailoring, all those kind of things, so that it will be minimized in our society. <laughs> The Nebe was our Makaino. Why were Bunda Nana in a Cheto Makaini, number one? Oscar Bobine and the Modu Kahama Kahashi Bind more. No more the car. Nana was a water carriage to Apo. Oh, Aqua, why gave you same baggage when Aqua? Now, quite Yapa, Doquam. 
In my teenage prostitution, there should be a vigorous campaign and enlightenment back up by poverty alleviation measures by governments and religious organizations to reduce this problem. Victims of teenage prostitution should not be discriminated, but rather they should be accepted in our society and treated with love, which most of them lacked in their growing up stage, as this would help win them over to see the lights out of the darkness which has encroached their lives. Finally, a rehabilitation center should be created where a new beginning can be given to those things who wants to go off from the streets. Say no to teenage prostitution! My name is Amacho Olichukujoy. Say no to pro teenage prostitution in Nigeria. I am Okafo Chinyori Gibbs. Say no to teenage prostitution in Nigeria. Say no to teenage prostitution!